Back to uh, Putin Moves South, Struggle for the Eurasian Heartland by Joseph Miranda. I um, thought I was going to pack this up and move on to something else. Um, I did look at a couple other games, but um, for, for a number of reasons, I actually did a U-turn and came back to this, and so I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I hadn't uh, actually gotten around to packing it up. So I have a reason to, to continue on with this. Uh, this is this is really interesting. Okay. Um, so it is the coalition um, action. The uh, coalition is down to two, down to two um, action points on their track. So they have two still to use uh, here in turn two, two of ten turns all together. So I was looking here and I was thinking, you know what, it's time to go after uh, Bukhara here. Bukhara is a city in Uzbekistan here. It's also on a railway, a rail, uh, rail line. Um, it is at the border here, the border with uh, Turkmenistan. Um, I had moved in the MEF and the RF Airborne Corps NATO, um, and I was looking at attacking here, and then I thought, wait a minute, oh, I hope I didn't just bump, bump the uh, camera, but uh, I was thinking, wait a minute, why don't I just use SF, because SF to flip the garrison there and take control of the city, so that's what I'm going to do, so I'm going to relook at the insurgency action uh, or insurgency operation um, action. So that is on the uh, action point uh, cost chart. It costs one action point to conduct um, special forces insurgency operations. And actually while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and conduct two just to show this. Uh, two different of these SF actions. Um, so I'm also going to go against Baikon Baikonur. Also a city, also minor base, also on a rail line in Kazakhstan there. All right, so uh, so I'm going to go through all of insurgency action. So SF units can be used, and I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm gonna use the uh, PRC uh, SF unit here. What was that? Tigers of the North, I think. Um, what is that? Uh, Tigers of the North, yeah. So I'm going to take Tigers of the North SF unit against Baikonur. And I'm going to take the PRC two strength SF unit. Um, SL is Snow Leopards. Take the Snow Leopards here and go against Bukhara. Okay, so I'm declaring the action, the SF insurgency operations. This is an optional rule, but I would, know, I would as, you, as I normally say, I'd these games I would play with all the optional rules. Um, spend one AP, so I go from two down to one. One left for the turn. Uh, place any number of SF markers on any. Place any number of SF markers on any X's on the map containing enemy garrisons. There's no range limit. More than one SF unit may be committed to the same hex. So again, snow leopards here, tigers of the north here. That's my commitment, and so what they're saying is I could have, I, I believe I can also mix nationalities, so I could add the Mu sock to this one, or this one, doesn't matter. In this case, I'm just, I'm using one PRC SF unit against each of two targets. Um, other com enemy combat units may be in the hex, in this case, they only have the garrisons in the target hexes. For each SF combat strength point, roll one die and apply the results on the insurgency table. Okay, so there is, here's my die here. I'll do the one up here uh, first. There is an insurgency table. It's printed on the side of the map, as with most of the tables and charts for this game. Um, I, um, I don't know if there are any... Um, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know if there are any die roll modifiers. All right, so I roll a three. Three is just nothing, no effect. So three here. All right, so that's that. And it's only one strength, so it's only one roll. Um, Here's a two strength, the snow leopards. Ooh, they get a six. Six is an R2. Uh, 
which R2 stands for Rebellion 2. And then I'll go ahead and... Oh, actually... Actually... Oh, do you roll for the second... Oh, that's interesting. Do you? I guess you do roll for the strength. Oh, that. Oh man, this is exactly what I was wondering. I wonder if that doesn't need a clarification, right? Because blowback. So I got six, which is great. By the way, that means. By the way, if I win in order, I would have already flipped the garrison. So I won, but it's two strength. So I rolled for the second. Strength point, and I got a 1, which is the exact opposite. That's blowback. The enemy gains 1 AP. Ooh. Now, they talk about if there's another SF unit. It says if the result causes the flipping of a garrison, and there are still SF remaining in the hex. That's vague, though, right? I assume that means SF units remaining in the hex. They cannot be committed elsewhere or withdrawn. Um, the SF markers are then recycled. Oh. That is too bad because that is <laughs> really... Alright, I'm going to play the rules as written. So, blowback means that the enemy gains 1 AP. That means that the Russian uh, Confederation gain an AP. So they go up from 6 to 7. I'm going to play rules as written. Is that what's intended? Because there are two strength points here. The first one has the best possible result. But I rolled for the second strength point. Right? So, or does it mean I can stop after the garrison is flipped? I don't know. I don't know. Rebellion 2 means flip the garrison to the friendly side. That's what I did. So now the garrison is NATO controlled. Um, if there are other enemy ground units in the hex, okay, I got that. Um, but that it's not the enemy. Huh. All right, I, I don't know. Seems vague. So let me let's do recycling now. So now it says uh, the SF markers are now recycled. Uh, for each SF combat strength point, roll one die and apply the results on the insurgency table. Alright, I'm, I'm playing rules as written. Um, for each strength point... Um, okay, if I use the interpretation of the other SF units in the hex, then that implies that once it's flipped, it's over. I guess I could go either way. I'm going to play right now. I'm going to play that both of these had to be had to had to be implemented. Um, <clears throat> you know what? I'm taking that back. I see a slight, slight implication that you're only rolling until there is a result. Um, maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. I'm doing that. So I took the AP back that the Russian Confederation got. Now let's do recycling. So recycle um, <clears throat> the SF units. Um, that is do, 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 recycling. So I roll the die for the Tigers of the North. I roll a three, average three. It is put three turns forward on the track. One, two, three on the um, turn track. And it, and it automatically comes in on that turn. Now for the snow leopards there, two. So they're placed two. Turns ahead on the track, turn track. Um, and there's nothing different than that. That's, that's it, there's no adjustments, there are no other considerations. They will come back on those future turns.